Some of you may have seen a video I released in August of this year about how Airbus A350 launch customer Qatar Airways grounded 13 of its A350s due to unexplained carbon composite skin surface degradation. Well, this week Qatar announced that grounding number has jumped to 20 A350 aircraft. But it's not just Qatar that's seeing this same problem with the A350. Now, Finnair, Cathay Pacific, Etihad, Lufthansa, and Air France are all reporting similar defects on their A350s as well. Well, now it seems they may have found out what's causing this, and it's safe to say it's not a good thing, and the fix is also not going to be cheap either. What's wrong with the Airbus A350? That's next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well this week, once again, the problems with the A350 have reared their ugly head. Except now, it's not just Qatar Airways, but more than half a dozen other carriers added their names to the list of those complaining about the defects they discovered on the A350. Reuters is reporting this week that a dispute between Airbus and Qatar Airways over paint and surface flaws on A350 jets stretches far beyond the Gulf now, with at least five other airlines raising concerns since the high-tech Dreamliner competitor entered service. Qatar's national carrier has grounded 20 of its 53 A350s, saying it is acting on orders from its local regulator until reasons for what witnesses describe as the blistered and pockmarked appearance of some of its A350s can be confirmed. For their part, however, Airbus says there's no safety risk, a point echoed by the other airlines which have not grounded any A350s and described the issue as cosmetic. Airbus said that there had been some problems with early surface wear that in some cases had exposed a sublayer of mesh designed to absorb lightning which Airbus says they are working to fix. However, three people with direct knowledge of the situation said that at Qatar Airways and at least one other airline said the mesh had in some instances itself developed gaps, leaving the carbon fiber fuselage exposed to possible weather or other damage. Two people familiar with the grounding decision said it was based on ongoing uncertainty over the cause and impact of surface degradation and gaps in lightning protection. Asked about the gaps in the mesh, Airbus said some airlines were subject to higher swings in temperatures than others. Airbus says it has found a root cause of the problem, but sources with two affected airlines have said that they had not been notified by Airbus yet as to what the cause is. Finnair, which operates in the colder north, raised paint concerns as early as 2016 and reported in October 2019 that damage had spread below the anti-lightning mesh. Cathay Pacific, Etihad, Lufthansa, and Air France, acting in its capacity as maintenance provider to Air Caribbees, also complained of paint damage. In October of 2016, a year after becoming the A350's first European operator, Finnair reported paint damage according to an online message board. It later complained that the paint is in very bad condition. Hong Kong's Cathay Pacific, which uses a different paint supplier, reported similar problems the same month. Almost a year later, it said it continues to experience paint peeling problems on multiple aircraft. In one online maintenance chat room posting, it disclosed that problems had been found on an A350 just two weeks after delivery. A Finnair spokesperson said, We can confirm that we have experienced some issues with the A350 painting and have been working together with Airbus to solve these issues. By October 2017, the messages show Lufthansa had also found areas of peeling, some spanning more than a square meter. Okay, so what exactly is going on? First, let me say I'm no expert on carbon composite, aircraft paint, or lightning foil prevention on aircraft. And I can only tell you what I found out through research. So if any of you out there are engineers or airline maintenance experts, please comment down below. But if we look at the pictures Reuters released of the damage that is occurring on the A350, you can immediately see that the paint is cracking and chipping and delaminating, exposing what looks to be aluminum or copper foil under the paint. Judging by the silver appearance, I think it's aluminum, but it could be copper. 
But what you're seeing in all that exposed wire mesh is the lightning protection foil that the composite material is wrapped in to give it protection from lightning strikes. Traditional aircraft don't need any additional foil wraps or coatings because the entire aircraft is aluminum, thus making it already lightning safe. Obviously, as we look at these pictures, you can see this should not be happening. For example, on the top of this image, you can see how the composite material is supposed to look. Completely smooth skin and painted over to look like any other aircraft skin. But it appears more than just the paint may be at issue here, because if you can see the actual foil under the paint, that also means that the thin layer of resin that protects the foil has also peeled away or disintegrated as well. Well, I don't know for sure what kind of product Airbus used on the A350. In this video from Scotch, you can see that most of these lightning protection products come in pre-manufactured rolls of copper or aluminum mesh embedded in very thin layers of resin so that it can be formed onto the outer layers of the composite material for easy application as well as providing a smooth surface for painting. But looking again at the photos, you can see the wire mesh seems to be of a much larger, bulkier variety used in the early days of composite lightning protection. So using this image from manufacturer 3M, you can see on the left is the traditional expanded foil which comes in copper and aluminum. But like I said, it looks like Airbus is using aluminum, but it may be copper as well, which is fine either way. But copper tends to be a better conductor of electricity. But you can see the image on the left looks exactly like what we see on the pictures from Qatar. Now look at the image on the right. That's a newer, much better performing perforated copper foil. And while Airbus hasn't officially said what the fix is, according to industry sources, Airbus is going to be updating their aircraft to the more flexible perforated copper foil like that you see here in the image on the right. You can see the stark difference in its width and size. The new perforated copper foil looks almost like a semiconductor as you'd see on silicon disks. It is a much more streamlined design that will allow for greater pain adhesion as well. But just as Boeing is experiencing with the Dreamliner, this will be an easy fix for aircraft that have not yet been produced. However, the problem is going to be retrofitting the many hundreds that have been produced and are in service all around the world. That's going to be quite costly and time consuming. And that's also why Qatar has grounded their jets. It has nothing to do with safety because the planes are perfectly safe. But Qatar sees an opportunity to maybe get some price breaks on future A350s. And hey, I don't blame them. You pay a lot of money for these aircraft and you want them to come out of the factory perfect and not have to jeopardize your bottom line by pulling these planes out of service for costly and lengthy repairs. So it's important to keep in mind that carbon composite materials are still relatively new in commercial aviation. And whether it's Boeing 787 or the Airbus A350, as with new innovations in any industry, there will be growing pains and discoveries along the way that will get addressed and repaired and improved upon and will eventually lead to more innovations to come in the future of commercial air travel. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. And as always, before we go, I'd like to thank those of you that support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee app and the merch shops. Links, of course, are in the description. But it never costs a dime to subscribe. Just hit that little red button. You'll be glad you did. So on your way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah. This is Maximus. <laughs>